Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Midgard Golf. So we're out here today at Fort Carson, Colorado, in Colorado Springs, or rather just outside of it, playing Cheyenne Shadows. And I'm out here today, <laughs> on a work day, it's kind of nice, playing a tournament to support the Destiny organization. So, before we start the round here, I just want to introduce the organization itself a little bit, as I typically do. So this organization is a faith-based organization that helps youth all over the place, all over the country. They've been doing this for 25 years, and it's 2023 now, so yeah, quite a long time. Anyway, to help youth find their way in life, and in this world where you've got all kinds of options out there for jobs and directions that you can go, can be kind of daunting to try to figure out exactly what you want to do. So this organization helps them identify exactly what it is that they do that's, uh, that's special in their life there and uh, helps them pursue it. So sort of a rotary club sort of deal there, right? Bunch of mentor or mentoring going on, I should say, with a bunch of mentors. So yeah, pretty cool organization. I'm happy to be out here to support it. It's going to be a brilliant day. A bunch of good folks out here. Got a couple of my co-workers out here playing with me. Not going to be filming them. Might just be filming myself. Might be filming me plus one other guy on our team. Yeah, we'll see. Not quite sure yet. He's not here yet, so we will see. But we're going to be doing a scramble tournament, obviously. So, yeah, if there's some shots, if I am just filming myself, if there's some shots where they appear to be missing, well, I'll probably put it a in the comments or something like that that uh yeah it was somebody else who made the shot or made the putt so on and so forth so without further ado let's get out there and let's check out this track i haven't played this track in about 10 years since i myself was stationed here at fort carson but uh so and back then it was a little worse for wear but that was a decade ago <laughs> and uh i hear tell that the new commanding general out here is a golfer himself and has upped the budget for this course quite a bit so, uh, yeah, I'm excited to see what he's done with it and uh, the improvements that they've made. I hear tell that it's quite substantial, so I'm really looking forward to this, especially returning to my old army alma mater, so to speak. So, let's go check it out and see what this course is all about. All right, everybody, so we lucked out today and we get to actually start the tournament on hole one. So we're playing the course as it's meant to be played. That's a treat for a scrambled tournament indeed. So this first hole, 409 yards, pretty straight up to get up on this green. Yeah, I mean, tree trouble left and right, but adjacent fairway to the left, and looks like native fescue off to the right. So I'm saying that the left is the correct side miss if you're gonna miss, so that's what I'm gonna do. Probably aim up the right side there, put a little snap on it, and see if I can bring a draw on back to the left side of the fairway. So, let's give it a rip and see what we can do. Big old D-stick in hand. Let's check it out. There you oh go. yeah, that's coming right that's around. Nice shot. That's real nice. That's real nice. Power really right nice, there. baby. Wow, there you go. go. Yep. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Gotta love that. Ended up hitting the cut right over the left line, brought it back in. Opposite of what I said I was gonna do, but whatever, we're in play. Ow. All right, everybody, going with Brian's there drive here. Drove right. me by just a couple. So, yeah, about All 95 right. yards in. Oh, 58 in hand. Let's check it out. <laughs> oh, hold it. Well, all right, we're on the dance floor. We're on the dance floor. We're putting. <laughs> hold that a little bit. A little, little slappy. A little slappy. All right, Brian's hole here. He stuck us right real in. close. Got about six feet left or so to get up in this hole. Of course, I'm not filming their putts. I'm just filming mine, but that's where the ball is. Let's see if we can drain it. Nice one. Oh, oh too hard. Good line. Yeah. Barely missed it. There's the par. No, 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 no. Now, guaranteed four, anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> All right, everybody. So Brian oh, sunk oh, that birdie putt. Nice yeah, putt, dude. Right. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm carding a birdie for the first hole. Brian's solo birdie. That was intense. On to hole two. Let's check it out. He 
this one. All right, ladies and gents, here we are in the okay. second hole, par five. Right off the bat here, you gotta love that. Little dog leg left, 501 yards to get up on this green. You got native fescue on the left and a little bit on the right, but it looks a little more forgiving off to the right. So yeah, I'm gonna say that's probably the right side miss. And there's Birch, one of my playing mates. So, <laughs> yep, I think, um, I mean, this tree line here, yeah, you could try to carry that, but you're really gonna have to skirt it wisely, because if you try to catch it a little too early there, then you're probably running right into them. If you're tricking the direct line over the left to try to cut off the whole smart play, play a draw, if you can do that, so that's probably what I'm gonna do. No reason not to hit the D stick, especially since it's a scramble and we know that Bert's gonna put one right in the middle of the fairway, so that's gonna be nice. <laughs> so, yep, missing long is in play, especially if you put a little fade on it and end up to the right a little bit. So just make sure you don't do that and you should be A-OK. -okay. Let's give it a rip, see what we can do. I need to or not? You see it? Alright, if I cleared all that stuff there. I see, yeah, I see it out there. It might be, we might, might be pretty good with that. Yeah, it could be alright. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Sweet. Alright, everybody, using my drive, 240 remaining. Just taking a little 5 iron out of the native fescue here. Going to pop it up there. It'd be all right. Yeah. I don't talk you out of that stuff, but I got it past the tree trouble. Yeah. Not bad out of that. Yep. Yeah. Too easy. All right, everybody, using Bert's second shot here. You put a beautiful three wood right up here on the right side of the fairway. We only got about 50 yards of the front of this green remaining. So, yeah, a little lob wedge. See if we can't Where'd get up go? and down or hole out for an eagle. I, I That'd be all right. Like Let's check it out. Oh, yeah, I think you're right up here. Lamar all right, everybody, 64 in hand. Let's see what I got. Nice one. Go, boy, go. All right, we're putting on that. Putting. A little short, but still putting. I'm still going to see if I can. All right, everybody, there's our shot to the hole. Sweet. Little what? A 25 footer for birdie. Let's check it out. Nice one. Roll it out. Oh, Come on. See, oh. right at the end it goes. Yep. You want him to go? If you want, go, go ahead. Oh, okay. There's our guaranteed you got park. Got the guaranteed park. Yep. <laughs> All right, everybody. So, my bar. Our That's our bad. Counted it. So, <laughs> unfortunate, to, unfortunate to take a bar on a par five, but is what it is. Moving on to number three, one under par on the day. Let's check it out. All right, ladies and gents, here we are for another four, par four. 440 yards to get up on this green, downhill from this tee box. This is the only tee box that's elevated to this extent. So that's really nice. And we're playing one up from the tips. That's the tournament rules. So yeah, which turns this hole a bit into kind of a dog leg right. All the other tee boxes are down here off to my left and it plays pretty straight up. So yeah. That's the ticket there. So at the angle that we're gonna be hitting at, you can miss long if you snap it left a little too much. Uh, I mean, you can also miss right, but right, it looks like there's some nice easy grass to play down there where you're gonna be just fine. So pretty much no matter what you do here, nothing really to worry about. Only thing is super long and left where you got some really long grass. So I think in D sticks the play again. Let's give it a rip, see what we can do. Oh yeah, that that's looking good too. That's working good. Just left side, great. That might that might be better than mine. Better angle. That's a good angle. That'll do, pig. That'll do. <laughs> All right, everybody. So taking my drive, got about a buck twenty to get on this pin. So let's give it a rip. Fifty-four in hand. See what we can do. Come around. Come around. Come around. All right, That'll do too. Button, baby. Very high. Yep. Not too shabby. We'll take it. 
All right, everybody, so there's me ball. Only man on the green. So, a little uphill. Kind of left to right, it appears. So yeah, about 20 feet to get up in this hole. Let's see if we can get it. Oh, I'm just birds practice putt there from his bowl, just off. But definitely taking mine. Let's check it out. Nice one, nice be one, it, nice be one. it, be it, be it. Oh, I know. Flatten that thing out right there because yeah, it hit that little divot. It hit this side. Again, there's the guaranteed solo part. And it hit that thing. All right, ladies and gents, here we are on the fourth. So 363 yard par four, but pretty much all uphill to get there. Little bit of a dog leg left and you got a treacherous bunker off to the left side of the fairway. So definitely don't want to be in that. Kind of got to think about this hole a little bit. If you're going to pump it out there, then you should be able to carry that bunker just fine. But if you're not, then you definitely want to miss it to the right. So let's give it a rip. Yeah, Bert just missed one to the right, it looks like. So that'll be okay. And, uh, yeah, I think I might take D-Stick and just take the left line and smoke it up there. So, let's give it a rip, see what we can do. Oh, that's, that's a, a good shot. That's it's that's right pretty. on the left edge. Oh, You're cutting the corner, too. Yep. <laughs> that works. Nice. That yeah. is going to be go, just fine, one. baby. There we go. There we go. <laughs> All right, everybody, Brian's Drive, 75 remaining. Let's check it out. 58 and in. Nice one. That looks good. That looks good. Hit soft. Good job. Good job. It's right there, there brother. Yep. Good job. Take it. Come on, put it on those. Right now. You're good. You're good. Bird came Tight. Bird, bird's just here. Gotta love it. All right, everybody. Daryl gaffed me by a couple feet there to put us on the green. Got about another 20 footer to put it in. Let's check it out. In there. Get it. Come on. Come on. Damn it. Oh, it's See, it just. Yeah, and it, uh, but, but it's way, way high. Hard. Way too hard. You gotta hit it soft. Nah, uh, you gotta give it some gentleness. Nice and easy and just let it drop down there. Okay guys, I got four mulligans, so I'm gonna use one of them on this hole here because I hit that way too hard. Get in there, get in there, get in there! Go, go, go. Okay. That's a good line. Well, that's gonna be the guaranteed T bar though. Yeah, left a little short on that one, but that's okay. Oh, oh there he goes. All right, there's our par for show. I stole it from you. <laughs> nice, Brian. Good old dude. It is. You can't hit it so. All right, ladies and gents, so here we are in the fifth hole, closest to the pin competition here. So 155 yards to get on the screen, but really downhill. So I'm thinking it plays around 130. So I'm giving it the 54 degree gap, or what? Sand wedge. See if I can stick it in this hole. Oh, yeah, that's all. Come on, come on, come on, left, 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 left. It's right there. I think you're closest. Not bad. We might have to step that off. Yeah, we'll take it, baby. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah he's might, close. I might, I might be putting my name down for closest to the pin. <laughs> Let's go check it out. All right, so there's my ball, ladies and gents, and I am the current closest to the pin leader on this hole now. So that's cool. Let's see if that holds throughout the day. Ten paces off that hole, so about 30 feet or so. So let's see if we can drain that for a nice deuce on this scorecard. Pushed it. Oh. There's the guaranteed par. Okay. Just cleaning up the guarantees all day today. Solo right. par. Yep. I still can use my left. I love it. There you go. I put it in. Sweet. This is this. That's not OVP. All right, Bert's mulligan attempt here. Let's see if he can birdie it. Oh, 
Oh, it's not bad, but he left it a little short. Still a great line, great read, yep, and great hands. Just uh, a little short. All right, well, par. Moving on to number six. All right, ladies and gents, here we are on the sixth hole. Looks like a little bit of a squiggly hole. Looks like it kind of goes to the right and then back to the left a little bit. 337 to get up on this green, so not all that far. Bunker trouble on the left narrows out as you get down there. So, let's see what Bert does here. Yep, Bert, buttery cut right off to the right side rough. That'll be just fine. So, yeah, I'm thinking I'm taking D stick after I saw that too, just because that's safely in play. And uh, yeah, see what we can do. Let's check it out. I saw it bounce on that far hill where that, uh, that tree is kind of the right side of it. A little too much, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm up there on that grassy knoll. The grassy knoll. Let's check it out. All right, ladies and gents, so here I am just on top of this hill, at 120 remaining. Yeah, just got to pop it over this tree and get up on this green. Let's give it a rip, see what we can do. 54 degree wedge in hand. Let's check it out. That was the strangest hit I've ever hit. It like started to climb and then went back down. Yeah. <laughs> but Bert put us on the green, so we're putting no matter what. Turn. Oh, wow. No, it climbed uphill. Yeah. It's not it's a, right to it's left. A, it's away from the mountain. Yeah, I know. That is deceiving. Very deceiving. All right, not really a guarantee here, but far. here we are. For our par punch. Brian will probably get this. Yep, back of the cup. No problem, baby. Scratching up that par. No blood on the scorecard the whole day. One under on the day. Let's go check it out. All right, ladies and gents, seventh hole, another par three here. <laughs> it's like trying to duck out of the camera. I got a wider frame than that, good sir. <laughs> but 179 yards to get up on this green. Pin looks like it's a little bit up front, so probably playing about 165 or so. So, uh, yeah, just gonna go ahead and give it a, maybe a nine iron. Let's just float it up there, see if I can't stab it. Get it close, let's give it a rip, see what we can do. There oh, you that go. was good. That, that was, was good. Good. You're on. Make it look. Let's do it. All right. Are you okay? On the green. Go check it out, baby. <clears throat> well, now we gotta talk to me like shooting short or putting long. All right, ladies and gents, there's my ball on the green. Kind of a long putt to this year hole, but a putt nonetheless. So, yep, downhill. Shouldn't be too tough on the speed. Just give it a little. Little runny run. Let's see if we can't put it in there. Man, I stopped that bad boy dead. I know. Nine iron was the stick on the yardage though. Just didn't have exactly the right line. Let's check it out. Too hard. Too hard. Just hit. Wow. If you go nice and you know what I mean, don't That's hit a real strong. Soft. Little Not really strong. Soft, I just did it. Got it. Daryl with the Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Oh. All right. Now we got to Bert, Bert to make it here. There it is. There you go. In true ham and egg fashion, my drive, Daryl's putt, and Bert's hole. Sweet. <laughs> Way to get us there, brother. Cheers. <laughs> All 
right, ladies and gents, here we are on the eighth hole. 357 yard, par four. Dog leg left, it looks like. And you've got Kung Fu Treachery on the left and the right, so you really don't want to miss anywhere. Looks like missing long is an option too, so you really got to pick your poison here. I'm thinking if you take it over those trees, kind of right in the middle of the screen right now, and uh, yeah, with sort of a high draw, that's the play for the long bomb shot. Or you could take a long iron and just float it up there nice and gentle and have a little easier shot on the green. And Bert's like, oh, I'm hitting. <laughs> Leaked it out to the right a little bit. So let's give it a rip. I'm going to see what these guys do. And uh, I might play a little bit safer here if we don't have a I'm good okay, one in play. I mean, so yeah, I got let's see what I'm going to do. Though. Check it out. Oh, you're over with Alec. Oh, you're over. Yeah. <laughs> You two are together. Thing. We did the same thing. Huh? Yep, you landed right where I did. <laughs> did not get the rotation on it for the draw. Uh -huh. Yep. I gotta remember, those hips, they gotta move to hit a draw. That's all right, we got some in play. Let's go check it out. All right, taking Daryl's drive here. He put us 147 from the middle of the green. So, great drive right in the middle of the fairway. Gotta love it. So yeah, I was just off to the, to the right there in the rough. So is Brian, so yeah, opting for the fairway. Let's check it out. All right, gap wedge in hand. Let's check it out. Nice shot. Oh, man. Oh, man. Get up there. Oh, oh. A little chunky, it's always, a little short. Always heartbreaking when you're tracking it and you're like, that is online. <laughs> I know, and it's that's online. Short. And then it's short. Yeah, that's what you get for chunking it. But I got good compression on it, so I gotta like that. All right, here we are, guys. Brian's shot greened us. About 30 feet left. Let's check it out. All right, so there's Brian's putt right there that he just hit right next to the hole. Because as it dies, it's gonna come back He's going to go ahead and put that in for the guaranteed par. There it is. Guaranteed par. Nice button, Brian. All right, let's see what I can do here. Well, I should have filmed that right there. Bert just put it in the hole <laughs> from that 30-foot putt there. Man, so I'm not going to putt at all. That was beautiful. Man, I would wish I would have got that on camera, but I'm not filming Bert today. So, But excellent putt, Bert. Man, I bet you wish that was on camera, though. <laughs> Great putt, two under on the day. Moving on to number nine. Let's check it out. All right, ladies and gents, here we are at the ninth hole. Par five to close it up for this front nine out here at Cheyenne Shadows on Fort Carson, Colorado. Thank you so much for watching another episode of Midgard Golf. Join us again next time for the back nine out here on Cheyenne Shadows. Boy, it has been gorgeous out here so far today. Two under on the day, see if we can keep it there or even better to close up the front nine of this round. And uh, FYI, so the embroidery shop hit me up just yesterday and let me know that the hats are about done. So we will be doing the hat giveaway video very soon. Stay tuned for that, it's coming, I promise. Yep, everything is just about done and ready to rock and roll for that. So, this hole, I got 555 yards on the GPS to get up on this green, big old dog leg right. So you can miss left here and that's treacherous. You can miss right here and that's treacherous and there's a sand trap over there off to the right that you might be able to see a sliver of past this tree that's right in front of me here. But uh, yeah, I mean... Fairway wide enough to hit driver, but missing long is an option here, so you definitely don't want to do that. Might be wise just to take a long iron, poke it out there and make it a three-piece hole if you're not comfortable hitting a pretty fade. But if you are, then that's definitely the shot that you want. So, I'm going to watch what these guys do to see what I want to try to do. And, uh, yeah, might be hitting a four iron, might be hitting a two iron, might be hitting a driver. I will make my decision once I see what these guys do with their balls. So, let's give it a rip and check it out. And thanks again for watching another episode of Midgar Golf. Like I said before, throw us a like and subscribe if you're liking this content. And we will see you next time. Let's check out this final hole. Yeah, that's good too. That's nice. Beautiful. That was perfect. Exactly the shape I wanted. Exactly.
I love it when the ball does right what I want it to do. Right in the middle of the club face too. Man, you gotta love that. That That's might be feeling. the one where you experiment with the shot tracking right there. That was, <laughs> that was real pretty. Yeah. Just as soon as the fairway cut right, the ball starts cutting right. I know, exactly. I followed the fairway the whole way. That was nice. All right, ladies and gents, so here we are. I've got 263 left to get up on the screen. I'm setting the camera up, kind of a hill here. So, and there's kind of a guardian, like, barranca right in front of the green there. So, not really wise to try to go for it from this yardage. So I'm gonna hit an eight iron and lay it up. But these guys are going for it, so let's see if they can get it. That'll be all right, let's check it out. That was a little more left than I wanted it. You okay with that? I mean, yeah, we'll be fine from there. It'll just be a little longer than I wanted it to be. All right, everybody, so Brian put one in the trap up here, just smoked one all the way up here from way back there. So perfect yardage he had. Just pin high, just missed it a little bit left. So yeah, what we gotta do is try to get it up and down for a little bird ski. Let's give it a rip, see what we can do. Sit down. Ooh, that was gone. Got all of that one, Alan. <laughs> that was fun. Did not see that happening. That came out a little hot. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Oh my god. That's all right. I'll be running for that ball. All right, from Brian's here. Mine launched way over. <laughs> Let's see if we can bury this pretty. That's it, baby! Well, back, baby! For that little tweeter! Blah, 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 blah. Three under on the day! There you go. You gotta love it. Contributing to the hole. Oh, my drive and my putt. And join us next time for the back nine out here on this beautiful course on Fort Carson, Colorado. See you next time. Have a great day.